All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a relatively simple mechanic that a lot of people are overthinking. I'm gonna show you how to implement it into your game and how you can use it to gain an advantage on your opponents. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to counter strafe properly, use it to your absolute most advantage to ensure that you are as hard to hit as possible. This is something that people of all levels struggle at, so you don't have to feel bad if you're not a master of counter strafing already. And no matter where you are, you likely have something that you can take away and learn from this video and work on in your games. First, what is counter strafing? Well, in counter strike, when you're peeking around a corner, you see how your, your body carries momentum and you continue to walk even after I let go of the D key. Essentially, counter strafing is pressing the key of the opposite direction to eliminate the velocity of your player. If you're familiar with Counter-Strike, you'll know that when you're moving, you're not accurate. Let me show you. So let me peek without Counter-Strafing and spraying. You'll see how my bullets are going all over the place. But if I Counter-Strafe when I'm peeking around the corner, you'll see how I'm immediately accurate. A useful command that you can use is CL underscore show POS one. You'll see this puts some information at the top left of your screen. You can ignore all of it except for velocity. The velocity is just showing the speed of your character model. So you'll see once again, when I'm not counter strafing, how it takes a long time for the velocity to go down versus how when I'm counter strafing, it goes immediately to zero. All right, so now you understand what counter strafing is. So when should you be using this and how can you use this to improve your gunfights? One, it's gonna increase your likelihood of winning every engagement and every corner that you're peeking. Because in a game that's as competitive as Counter-Strike, you want to have the absolute competitive advantage against your opponent. Now, a lot of people already know about Counter-Strafing, um, but they somehow don't seem to implement it into their game. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips of how you can implement it and how you can better utilize it to give even more of a competitive advantage than what you likely already know. So I'll see people who already know how to counter strafe and they'll peek from a corner like this and immediately counter strafe here. And that's, that's good, that's all right. But you'll see how my velocity, it peaks at about like 170 or around that area when I'm peeking immediately from the corner. But in Counter-Strike, if, even if you have a split second more of running time, your velocity will be higher, which means that you're coming around the corner at a faster speed, which thus makes you harder to hit for your opponent. Once again, giving you a slight edge against your opponent. Now there's also a fine line here, because if you're walking around a corner and you don't want to make footsteps, you don't want to be running all the way over here and then running and then peeking this corner with the Counter-Strike. It, it's just not going to make sense. It's going to let your opponent know where you are. So you do have to practice a little bit and find the fine line of how far you can run without making noise. So I'll show you side by side what just regular counter strafing around a corner looks like. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you're pivoting a little bit to the other side to help gain velocity. If you're paying attention to the velocity number in the top left, you'll notice that if you're strafing before your peak, the number's gonna be way higher and it's gonna make you way harder to hit. I personally find one of the best ways to get these movements ingrained into your muscle memory by trying to mu implement them thoughtfully on pre-fire maps like this one. So this just helps you feel like what it would be in a real application in game. And this just helps make sure that you're clearing every corner that you should be clearing, helping you one, get the proper crosshair placement necessary to have peak counter strafing, and two, allowing you to be thoughtful about implementing these movements into your gameplay before jumping into a face it or matchmaking game. All right, if you feel like you learned something from this video, then be sure to leave a like and comment. I've been on the grind recently, uploading daily. I got more videos like this that can help you rank your CS gameplay. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next video. Peace.